For me, Parisian jazz is an upbeat, toe-tapping, uplifting style of music that represents the melding of two cultures in the 1930s and 1940s, those two countries being America and France, of course. Parisian swing musically memorializes France's interest in Americanism during this time because it contains familiar elements of swing music from the U.S., but it infuses elements associated with French Impressionistic composers of that era, such as Debussy and Ravel. Yeah, I, I think of gypsy jazz as a music that was originated by um, French-Belgian gypsy guitarist Django Reinhardt, along with French violinist uh, Stéphane Grappelli. The Parisian swing is the, the presence of whole tone melodies, extended harmonic language in the chords, obscured bar lines, and very sophisticated rhythmic syncopations. The band consisted of, you know, all acoustic instruments, three guitars, uh, where you had one lead, which was Django, and then two rhythm guitar players, along with violin and a string bass. At the peak of its popularity in the U.S. during the 1930s and 40s, swing music was very important to people as they pulled through the end of the Great Depression and then coped with the impact of World War II. But because swing music was uniquely American and also used to boost morale for our U.S. military troops during World War II, that music was banned in occupied Europe. Their instrumentation and their song selections and approach to playing them uh, you know, set them apart and created gypsy jazz. Their music is still live and well, and people are still playing it and enjoying it.